Dream Team Kids, today we're going to talk about why space rocks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I mean we're going to talk about space rocks. <laughs> so, I guess I don't need this. Oh, <laughs> so I mean space rocks, like actual rocks like we find on the ground. But they also exist in space, floating around in the atmosphere. The first one is the asteroid. Now asteroids can be pretty large, up to 329 miles across. That's huge! And they all congregate in the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. Sometimes asteroids bump into each other and little tiny bits fall off. These tiny bits are called meteors and they can fall towards the Earth. But don't worry, as they fall, they break up and get smaller and smaller. And sometimes by the time they hit the Earth, they're as small as a grain of sand. That's pretty tiny. So don't worry about one hitting you in the head one day. <laughs> sometimes they can be the size of a regular rock that you might find on the beach or in the desert or even on your street outside your house. Have a look one day and see if you find any peculiar rocks. Sometimes they're dark in colour with little porous holes in them. They're so cool! People hunt for these all the time and sometimes they're worth a lot of money. But if you do find one, make sure you tell a scientist so they can catalogue them. So far, there's been about 40,000 recorded! How cool is that? When meteors fall towards the Earth, they can leave a trail of kind of glittery stardust behind, but they're not actually shooting stars. But it's nice to pretend that they are. Comets are similar, but they're not actually rocks. They're just balls of gas and ice and dust. And as they fall, they also leave a trail just like a shooting star. And they're so pretty. So have a look in the night sky and see if you can spot any. <laughs> The other difference between comets and meteors is that comets can be seen from miles and miles away, even when they're far, far up in the night sky. But meteors can only be seen when they're much closer to Earth. So I hope you've had fun learning all about space rocks, but also why space rocks. <laughs> Bye Dream Team Kids! Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Dream Team Kids! Bye everyone, see you next time!